What's up guys, it's Fab here. Today I'm going to be showing you a really, really nice tutorial. Uh, I mean effect, sorry. Called Offset. It's a transition effect and it's usually done in After Effects but I'm going to be showing you how to do it really easily in Vegas. It's so sick. And yeah, it's really easy to do. So before we start, I'm just going to thank Tutorial Market for uploading some of my videos. Hope you like it if you're watching it on Tutorial Market. But yeah, check them out, I'll put them in the description, definitely subscribe to them. Okay, so getting into this tutorial, first thing you want is your clip. And what I mean by clip is ideally what you want is a video like this with your two clips, or how many clips, just say if you've done an edit, just want the whole video, just go and see it, just go straight to the next clip, and that is ideally what you want because it will make it a lot easier. You could do it with two clips individually, but probably be a little bit harder. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is I'm just going to disable resample this so it's a lot smoother. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what you want to do firstly is go play your video and find where the first clip splits the second clip, which for me is there right here and what you want to do is press M on the keyboard to add a marker and you can name it if you want just add split and what that will do is it will let you know where it's split without having to split the video okay so now from the split point using your arrow keys you just want to go 35 keyframes to the left so just click it 35 times to the left so bear with me two three four five six Thirty one, two, three, four, thirty five. There's the thirty five. You can do it as many as you want, but in my opinion, thirty five does it the best. You can like get whatever you want. It's up to you. Once you've gone thirty five to the left, press S on the keyboard to split, and then you just want to go back to your marker point, right there, where it's where the clip splits, and go thirty five to the right. So. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's 35 to the right, and just split the video. Now, you've got this little segment, which is where we're going to be doing the effect. So that's what you want. So now, go to your video effects, and find TV Simulator, which is here. And you just want to drag on Reset to None onto your little split clip that we've got. And now, what you want to do is make sure, sorry, click animate first, and make sure that down here you'll see sync cursor to media timeline is checked, because then that what that does is it, when you're playing the video, it, it moves the cursor in sync with it. Okay, so what you want to do now, this is the really easy part, is where you've got your marker, you just want to click on your marker, because you've got that synced, it just goes straight on here and you want to drag the vertical sync roughly, you could drag it all the way down if you wanted, but I'm going to drag it just a bit above the below zero, above zero, sorry you can do it, what is personal preference really so you've got that bit, and now just drag your cursor right to the end of the time which is the end of the split clip as you can see on here and then all you need to do is drag the vertical sync back up to the top and what that has done is animated it to do the offset transition as you can see there that does look really sick but now what we're going to do to finally make it look better is add some blur to, and that makes it look really sick so just go to back to your video effects and find linear blur which is going to be our uh, replacement for motion blur just drag on vertical light and you'll see there that's made a bit of a thing so you just want to drag the amount to zero to start with so it's at nothing and you want to make sure that you click animate on the amount by clicking the time and you'll see it's got these three lines with your TV simulator at the top so all you need to do is just find your TV simulator the first the one in the middle and just click on that and then 
make sure you go back to your linear burr by just clicking on this tab and then just drag your amount up to the amount that you want the blur to be so I'm gonna have it at 0 .0 0 0.042 0.042 that's where I'm gonna have it and now go to the end right to the end of the thing by just dragging it along and that is the keyframe where this with the effect finishes and you just want to drag the amount back down to zero and that has animated it now to make it look like motion blur so I'll just preview this out for you and as you can see there that does look really like really sick and it was really easy to do yeah that this is personally one of my favorite tutorials I've done so far because it does look really sick and I'm happy that I figured out how to do it so yeah please leave a like on the video if this helped and keep giving me support a lot of people have told me that the tutorials help a lot so I'm glad that is helping if you need any more additional help just add my skype which is fabizzle yeah just add me on skype and I can help you but yeah please leave a like on the video if you've got any suggestions just leave a comment thank you for watching the video see you later